Oh. Look at that. I found one. Neon green glowing caterpillar. They're zipping all around this thing. What a cool experience this has been. Finding all of these moths. There's one, two, three. By your finger. Oh, yes, sir. Three. Four. Four. What you got there, Sophie? My teeth. Either they, either you really need to brush your teeth or you're putting UV lights on them. All right, I'm here with my kids. We've got UV lights. And guys, we are going on a caterpillar hunt. Sophie, let's see what happens when you shine that stuff on your shoes. I love oh you. boy. Oh yeah, you light up. You're glowing. Guys, the same thing happens with caterpillars. Guys, let's see. And, and yeah, we're on like a bit side of a busy road. Sorry about that. Hi, people. Hi, peoples. But let's see if we can find some caterpillars just with UV lights because the caterpillars light up green. Taking my kids on a caterpillar hunt with UV lights. Let's see what we can find. on the side of a road. I know. Oh yeah, yeah, big ant pile. Okay, let's not it step It might in. sound like my oh, dad yeah. is a bad father by taking us on the side oh, of a road. Oh, dude, that is gnarly. Yeah. Let me put my let's hand in there. Let's not get out of the fire <laughs> ants. I might be a bad father. But this is for... It's for science. It's for science. We're looking on... I've got these little UV flashlights, guys, and they shine purple on the leaves and what we're doing is we're looking on pond apple and other host plants to see if we can find any sphinx moths and look you they were definitely here because like a lot of the leaves are chewed off like yeah that. look at this one yeah, this they one were here really the pond apple is the host plant for the giant sphinx and it's got all kinds of chew marks on it this is a flower oh yeah let's see the flower that is it, it it's oh wait that has a lot. look at the pollen on it is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah, so one of the things that lights up are these flowers. Anona, it's in the Anona family, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Sophie, show me that flower. Bend it bend it over to me. All right. Ew. It's so a it's kind of a weird looking flower. It has a layer covering the, it has two layers like of. Like three big lips skin, there and they cover. The skin covering like the. Like and like the pollen fell on the leaf. Yeah, the, the stuff falls down on the leaf and it glows under. And guys, look, it looks super normal without it. Like. Yeah, normal, well, yeah, kind of. But like with it, it's like. Glows. All right, guys, we're not looking for plow, flower pollen. We are looking for caterpillars. And when, when green sphinx moth caterpillars shine under UV light, they light up. They light up like my shoes, but green. Kind of like this spider. See how the spider is purple. If I can get, if I can get it to focus, the purple thing. Oh, oh that's cool. You like that? It's like, it's like it's a hologram. I can't get, I can't get this to focus. Really? Yeah. It's like it's a hologram. A hologram? It's what that looks like. Rando, when have you ever seen a hologram? No, just like in like lab rats and stuff. Yeah. Oops. Well, yeah. So, purple spiders, guys. Things glow in ultraviolet light. And we are looking on the pond apple. We've actually been looking for about 20 minutes. And we have not seen any caterpillars. So, yeah, there's lots of fire ants. We had no problem. No problem stepping, finding fire ant piles. Um, it's probably not the smartest thing to do doing this at night. But you can't use UV lights during the day. So at night it is. It's kind of annoying with all the cars driving by. Um, but we're looking, looking, looking. That's ficus. This is actually a ficus tree. I told you. 
All right, Lorenzo, what'd you find here, I buddy? I found a salad bowl, but without the UV light. Look at it. It looks. No, wait. It looks completely normal. Yeah. Ah. Ew, UV light on the salad bowl. That's disgusting. That's a chicken Caesar pasta salad, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for the noise. It looks a little nasty under the UV. That's nasty. Oh, that nasty. Oh boy. Okay. Back to moth hunting. Yeah, yeah I, I think we're a little early in the year for the pond apple uh, moth, the giant sphinx. Oh, but I am finding plenty of spiders. Me too, and I'm oh, freaking crazy. If you didn't point that out, I literally would have Dude, that is yeah. so cool. Wait, do that again, so, like on the spider web, like right here. Look at that, that's sick. So cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Pretty cool. Do you see how like I see how like a hologram almost? Yeah. Well. Like from like lab All up in the. Poppy. Yes. How do these moths like tell which plant is which? Because like like all these plants look the same to me. Yeah. How do they know which one they like like? Well, moths have a very highly developed sense of smell, and, and oh. they can smell which plant is the right one to lay eggs on. Plants are different? What? Yeah, plants all have different smells. They do? Sure they do. Is it like the sap or that? Uh, well, the, the, the leaves have chemical compositions that are different. And they know. But I think I think it's a little early in the year for giant sphinx. We'll probably try and come out in another month or so and see if we can find any giant sphinx. But I have some other ideas, guys. Oh, Poppy, I have an idea. I have some other ideas on other types of things we can find so that tonight... Whoa. Will not go to waste. What are you doing? Broke. Huh? <laughs> what broke? The handle. <laughs> I'm telling oh you gosh. something. No, look at the beetle. Look at the beetle. I'm not already exaggerating. It just flew in my neck. It blew uh, my neck too. Yeah, let's see if he lights up. Nope, he don't light up. There's all kinds of stuff on the pavement. But, but... probably have an no, idea. Just... I have an idea. Tell me. What if we go back home and we'll like keep looking, but like what if we go back home and see if like what we can find in our backyard? Well, we, we've got some stuff that I think we find in our backyard, yeah. So why, why don't we try for a few more minutes and then we'll go and give the backyard a shot. Let's do it. Where do you go? Where do you go? All right, we're still looking. He moved. Oh no, he moved out. We are looking for... Oh, oh, that's your figure. <laughs> no, but it was literally right there. Literally. Oh, look at this little guy. Well, there's... You can see the, uh, the little that, weevil. Remember that day before the hurricane? Little weevil. The yeah, weevils remember? glow in the dark, yeah. Probably remember? Remember what? that day before the hurricane? And we like, collected all the little weevils. white ones? Yep. <laughs> Got one. Yeah. Got yes. one. Where? Nice. Okay. Oh, right, oh, on. oh, oh, oh. Look at that. I found one. Neon green glowing caterpillar. Sophie found a neon green caterpillar, guys. Check it out. What happens when this? Hold it still. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm... Yeah. Let's so check out what happens when you hold these caterpillars. <laughs> Under the UV lights, guys, they glow super, super green. <laughs> Lorenzo. The leaf just broke. The leaf just broke. All right. Sophie, good job. Thank you, you. Now, here's the thing. Do you know what species that... Oh, hold it. Oh. You, hold your find. Do you know what species that is? A uh, butterfly. Uh, it's a butterfly. Is it a butterfly? It is a butterfly. Um, it that's a... Butterfly. a sweet, no. Um, that's a... No, it's no, it's a sulfur. Sulfur, good job. You're in the right family. Um, starts with an S. Sulfurs. Starts with an S. So, Sta, 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 starfish. Statira. <laughs> oh, I knew that one. Yes, Statira, Statira. Good I was job. Close. Sophia, I was Sophia close. found the first caterpillar. I was close. I said starfish. Good job, Soph. Let's see if we can find another one. Yeah, we gotta well, see if we I can find something. Oh, even, I got one. I don't even have a UV light. I got one, guys. Check I'll it out. I'm naming mine. What are you going to name them? Starfish. Butterfly. Yeah. I got one right there, guys. Where? Right here. Was Look. it bigger than mine? Ha! I win. Yeah, yours Dad, is bigger. I don't even have Here, Lorenzo. I found one. It's your turn. Yay! There you go. Yeah. I'm going to name... 
Papa, I'm naming this one number two. Number two? Because he's not big. He's, he's smaller than Okay. Me. Well, we found, at least we found something. And we were able to show you guys what it looks like when a caterpillar glows in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> this is a sweet almond bush. What is it? Well, did you see all the moths? Yeah, what are they? I don't know what they are. Can I catch one? Um, let's see. Can, Can we find it? one actually nectaring? Can I eat it? Can you eat it? No. Why would you do that? All right, guys, we've got moths. Oh my gosh. Caterpillar? No. Or a moth? He just like has his wings open and stuff. Okay. The moths look like pyralids. Very tough to see. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah, good job. <laughs> my bad. Here's one, Dad. <laughs> Psych. Here's one, Dad. I found one. Aren't you proud of me? I did it. Oh, here we go, guys. Moth pawn is... Oh, he flew. There we go. Land you... Oh, no. That's a, that's a different one. Which one? Check that out. Which one? <laughs> Moth pollinization, guys. That's a pyralid. I, I can't tell what species it is. Hey Dad, here's one. Do they feel good under the black hey Dad, light? Look. I, I don't know. Then look. Look at this. Hold on a second. Let me, let me get this guy. Let me get mine. Very, picture? very cool. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, you're a trip, dude. I have two right next to each other. Two, two moths? Oh, there are moths all over this bush hey, hey dad guys this is a great example oh caterpillar. of moss caterpillar, caterpillar. really right there where never mind no nope, that's a spider web <laughs> yeah good job good well I, i've never seen this many moths pollinating on one on one tree before and you can smell you guys smell the sweet almond yeah. you smell it, it smells, good. smells good most of them are the same species little brown pyralid but boy those are common at dark well they are they are common are but common. we got beetles we got moths and they're all pollinating so cool it's something even beetles pollinate Beetles pollinate, moths pollinate. That is so cool. All right, Lorenzo, shine your shine your big light on here. Okay. Can I hold the big light? I'm important. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can. All right, guys. So there's a moth. Oh, I can see if I can pollinating. Mm. Sipping nectar from the sweet almond bush. We've got June beetle. We've got moths, moths, and more moths. Look at that, guys. There's three moths on one stem. Look at that. Guys, the moths are completely un... not worried whatsoever about the lights I think they as they're like pollinating. There's, there's a zipping all around. Go ahead. They're zipping all around this thing. What a cool experience this has yes, been. Sir. Finding all of these moths on the sweet almond bush. How cool. Look at that. You found one. The kids found a moth a larva. All right, guys. Oh, look what you guys find. Hey, Dad, look at mine. <laughs> look, at, look at mine. Okay. Look at look at mine. This one's mine, right? Yeah. Compared to Lorenzo's. Let's go. <laughs> hey, and can we just take a moment to like realize how disgusting our canal is? <laughs> our canal, <laughs> neon green in the in the. So actually, let, Wait, let's check this out real quick. Let me see. Oh, dude, look at that. It's so, a, it's a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a dragonfly, um, pupa. What is it called? Pupa? Pupa, look. Or nymph or something? Right yeah, so, so our canal, guys, is like neon green <laughs> under, <laughs> under the UV lights. It's kind of gross. Look, look at that tap hole. But so guys, is look, that caterpillar. Is All right, guys, this check one? it out. Sophia found this sphinx moth caterpillar on this bush. Did Lorenzo find one too? 
Where's the, where was yours? It was underneath the leaves. It was so so I see it. Hey Dad. See him with his little horn there? Hey, hey guys, you That's can't so make fun of me now. Oh yeah, what'd you find, There's son? One and two. Okay, let's see what you got. One. There's one. All right, let's see. Actually, there's one, two, three. By your finger? Oh, yes, sir. Three. Hold on. Four. Four. Dude, look at that. Five. Five? Guys, there's five Sphinx moth caterpillars on this one little tiny plant. How cool is that? Lorenzo, you found yourself a little Sphinx moth caterpillar. He glows in the dark. Stop moving. So you you got to keep your finger still. Yeah, he glows in the dark. And so does my finger. Under the the light. Aren't you? Whoa, what do you think about this? Isn't this cool? My fingernails are cooler. Your fingernails have. You, bro, you need to wash your hands. I know. Like, look at no, that. No, that's just. All right, Lorenzo, this is. <laughs> Lorenzo, you have no, you can't stay still, can you? What, what is this wristband on your wrist? That, that's, that, for that's for school. school. Yeah, I forgot to take it off. That's that's because you don't have a temperature, right? They do your temperature check. Yeah. All right, so Lorenzo found his Sphinx caterpillar. It is Eumorpha fasciatus, the banded Sphinx. They eat primrose, and they are on the sides of the canals here. And actually, they're pr pretty common down here in South Florida. And what do you say we raise him inside and see what he turns out to be? Let's do it. Do you want to do that? Yeah? All right, guys. Congratulations on finding your Sphinx moth caterpillars. It's no competition, but I guess it's bigger. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Sophie, did you have fun looking for caterpillars with the UV lights? You stand on slant and UV shorter. <laughs> did you have fun looking for caterpillars and with UV lights? I told... Lights. I had so much fun because first of all we're going back to like the seventies and we're going back to like neon and like Oh yeah, like like and, disco. Like, you know? Um I have officially named my baby Da Baby. Da baby? Da baby. Da baby. Da baby. Okay. Well he's not gonna be da baby any for much longer. Well he is going Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> Lorenzo He is going to be raised by the best, best. moth. Caretaker, you guys have ever seen. Caretaker. Okay. All right, Lorenzo, tell me about how, how does your caterpillar feel? It feels very smooth, actually. It's ticklish. Yeah. Ticklish. Yeah. Yeah. Sophie, what, what about you? Is your guy like he's like trying to move and like when he like pushes mm. off of his back, it like tickles my finger. Look at him. Yeah. Like he's like little. Look at him. Look Take at his me. face. Look at his face. Lorenzo, what are, what are you gonna name yours? Lorenzo, you're gonna name your caterpillar. Mm. Do I have to? No, you How about to. Junior? All right. Well, it's cool, guys. Hope you like this video. I'm gonna name mine Butterfly, by the way. Oh, Butterfly. That's <laughs> very inappropriate. All right, guys. Hope you like the video. My kids found Sphinx Moth Caterpillars using UV lights, and so can you. Give me a like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> if you like the video, look at the cool mugs. All right, guys. Enjoy South Florida. Take care. Mm -hmm.